All right, guys, what is going on? It is August already, so this quarantine has been uh, extended a very long time, but we are training here at Golgian Bridgewater in New Jersey, and uh, we're training legs today. So this is my real first, second leg day, my first real hard leg day, but my second leg day back since uh, throughout my back and all that crazy shit happened. So um, we're going to show you guys uh, some some good training today, and uh, we're going to do some, some heavyweight, uh, high volume, and uh, really throw some blood into those quads and uh, get rocking and rolling and really, um, you know, utilize these next couple weeks as an off season before I start uh, shredding down for the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So we're going to take some pre-workout and we're going to get out there and get started. So you guys know I like my hype. So this is actually my favorite flavor of the cool lime, my favorite flavor of the, uh, of the hype. Them. My resurgence. Nice big human scoop of that. And I'm not a fan of the funnel, so I'll just throw it right in there. When I was in my late teens, early 20s, even early 30s, I don't think there was a workout that passed by without barbell squatting. I, you know, I think that's a big difference with the training now and the training back then is that back then we did a lot more compound movements like, you know, flat bench, like barbell squats, deadlift. A lot of those things people don't do now because everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna get hurt doing it. You get hurt fucking getting out of your car. You know, if you step wrong, if you deadlift wrong, if you squat wrong, if you bench wrong, you can get hurt doing that too. You know, freak accidents happen, but you know, there's no reason that you guys shouldn't be doing the fucking core exercises. Everybody wants to find different acronyms of training methods and different ways to train to make things easier. And that makes your physique look like dog shit. So I stick to what works, this works for me. So this is what I do. reason why we're doing extensions early on is because like I explained in the chest video very rarely will you guys see me come in here and do a compound lift first um, obviously I'm a little older now but in my younger years I never did that because I was just way too strong for my size and I could throw around really really heavy weight so as time went on the way I got around a kind of giving my joints a little break and uh, relief was pre-exhaustion so I pre-exhaust the muscle um, with everything that I do. So if I'm training legs, we'll do extensions, then we'll do like a leg press, then another exercise, and then squat, right? Um, when I do chest, you never see me press unless I do a fly first. Um, when I'm training back, you never see me dead or rack pull um, early in the workout. So for extensions, especially for somebody that's got bad knees, um, if you do this exercise right, you can completely uh, fatigue and pre-exhaust your entire quad. Um, you don't have to go super heavy. Um, I always do pyramid sets. So I start at 100, I'll go to 120, I'll go to 140 or 60, whatever. Um, and I work my way up. Three, four sets, you know, 15 to 10 reps um, each set. And then sometimes we do a drop at the end, depending on how much blood we want to get in the muscle. Um, but leg extensions, I make everybody that I train, they're always doing at least extensions before they do any sort of compound movement, whether it's a leg press, whether it's a squat, to make sure that their quads and their knees are fully warmed up and that helps you know, prevent risking injury, so. Ah, 
down this like nine plates. You can't put much more on it. See, now your logic doesn't make any fucking sense because it's going against what you just said prior. Dude, we're jumping three plates then. We were jumping. We jumped from four to seven, which isn't like crazy. You know, four but to seven, seven is six total. Ten. You know, four to seven is six total plates. I know. Okay. But from going to seven to basically ten, that's six total more when it's really fucking heavy. Instead of moderately heavy. Well, it's five plates. Because we're not putting two plates per second. Two, two, one. Five plates. Whatever you want. You're cool, you call. I'd rather do eight and then test the fucking. waters. <laughs> test the waters. Make sure that I don't have to test waters because I'm fucking strong. Fucking, I got a lot of fans that are younger, and uh, I know I got fan base like all over the world, but I'll be honest, man. Yes. I train with a lot of fucking people, uh, and uh, the mindset of a lot of the younger generation just is not the same um, when I was coming up. It's sad because you want to believe that people are in this sport for a reason to be better, to better. To have better lifestyles, to be healthier, to look better, to feel better. And the sport of bodybuilding is that plus a lot more. The problem is people are falling in love with the social media and the publicity aspect of it and forgetting that it all stems from the love of being in the gym and training. And uh, a lot of people are willing to put forth the work on social media and other aspects um, of their lives, but they don't put in the work in the one place where the work is the hardest and that's in the gym and I think that's a big um, difference between guys that are in their late 30s and guys and girls that are in their you know early 20s and late 20s it's just I've seen it I've trained with them I trained with the older generation the younger generation I trained with guys girls bodybuilders fitness competitors figure you name it I've trained with them and it ain't nothing better than training with the old school guys like fucking, you know, like Branch, like Jose. It's just flex. It's not the same, you know, because you, you gotta be cut from a different cloth to do some of the shit that we do. And people, you know, probably make comments on this fucking, on this and say, oh, well, you know, bodybuilding's not that hard. All you gotta do is eat, train, and all you guys do is take a ton of drugs to look the way you do. If, if that's what you think this all is, and that's all it takes, then be my guest and try it out. Because uh, there's a lot more that goes into bodybuilding than just eating and training and you know popping some fucking pills, I can tell you that. Um, it's a 24 hour, three, three, six, 65, seven day a week fucking grind and it's, uh, it's not easy. There's no days off in this sport. Um, so it's, uh, 
It's a different mentality, man. That's why only 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 few people turn pro and even fewer succeed. Fewer. The few the fewest amount of people have a similar mindset that the others don't. So that's what makes successful people different from unsuccessful people. People are willing to do the, the hard things that others aren't. Ready? Do you want to flag one up there? Yeah. This is going to suck balls. Yeah, it's going to suck. This set's going to fucking blow. It's damn sure. Want me to sit on it? No. I actually turn this a little bit. Like so, it's like crooked, so it's actually sitting there. There you go. So it's got like some some set. What? I don't want your fat ass sitting on the fucking machine. <laughs> Not with that fucking varsity jacket. I don't. Blackstone Labs joggers. Get them at BlackstoneLabs.com. Little plug, PJ. If you're short, though, don't get the double X's making it look like you got a dookie in your pants. Okay. Four again. All right, Tom, ready? Yep. Okay. Hip. Hoo. Hoo. Jump. Jump. Boo. 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 Those vacation weights. Come on, Tommy. Come on now. I got it. Come on, buddy. Drive. Come on. Good. Again. Come on. Come on. Five more. Six. Good. Come on. Seven. Three. Come on. Double it up. One. Come on. Rack. Double whammy because I got bad shoulders, so getting on the squat bar is a bitch. And then bad back. Still going. Haven't done squats weeks, 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 weeks. So I figure it's probably about six weeks in those squats. So I hurt my back, took about three weeks. And then uh, epidural and everything. So, and I mean, this is my second week back, third week back. First week back, trained fully. Last week, the entire fucking town and two towns lost power for days. So I ended up missing leg day. Um, everything was shut down. It was like impossible to get in. No heat, no heat, or no heat, no AC, no uh, heat, uh, hot water, no electric, no nothing. Uh, for all my food, well, not all of it, but some of it went bad. Moved some stuff to a freezer. He even got a, uh, a generator for the house, but, um, you know, didn't have power for three days. So didn't train legs last week, um, which I really didn't mind because I knew putting weight on my back was going to probably bother it. So I didn't mind giving my legs a, another week's rest. So this is you know, figure three, four, six weeks of not training squat. So um, we're doing, goal today is 405. 225, I, could, I felt a substantial difference on my back. So we're gonna do 315, see so how that feels, and then we're, you know, try to go up. You know, the worst thing is, that since my shoulders are fucked up, trying to reach, like I wanna, I wanna go a little further and grab here, but I wanna put my hand on something, so it's like, I, I it sucks.
Right? So my feet are here. My heels are just about hanging off slightly. If I take my foot, slide my foot back, I should just, just about catch my heel. Your heel wants to be hanging off just slightly. And then when I'm doing hamstrings, you can use this for hamstrings or quads. So this would be for quads. My feet are closer, working the outer part of my quad. And then if you want to go hamstrings, slide yourself in a little more. Then you put your feet super wide and point them out like this. And then when you come down, you're coming down like this, focusing all on your hamstring. So you got quads here, hamstrings up here, high and wide. And then low and heels off is for quads. So, very great machine for overall leg development. I use this for hams and quad day. So definitely give this machine a try if you got it at your gym. If you don't have it at your gym, you can also use this um, or mimic it with the Smith machine. Just get under a Smith machine, have somebody there to unlatch it and latch it, and just put your balls of your feet where the bar is, just press it. Who? Hey, Chip! So with a Bulgarian split squat, the leg that you go back with is the leg you want to replace the dumbbell with. So you don't want to go too big of a lunge forward, you're going to lose your balance. So you want to, you need to support yourself if you can, just try to balance yourself out. If you're having trouble, then just hold on to something like this. I'm having trouble balancing on that side, yeah, my back, I don't know why. Tom today, one of the uh, many fallen soldiers to training legs. Uh, you know, me and Tom have been training together five months since this quarantine, buddies for years. But, uh, you know, trains his ass off. But most people walk around talking about they train hard. A lot of people don't know what training hard is until they actually train hard. You know, I've had my fair share of reality checks and ego checks at the door, training with guys like Branch, Charles, Glass. So I know what it's like to feel like you're gonna die um, towards an end of a workout and uh, question why you even work out. I've done it before many times. Um, but until you get to that level, you never truly know what it's like until you're on the verge of literally you feel like you're going to die of death um, in the gym from being pushed to your absolute max capacity failure. But uh, that's what we live for, right? That fucking adrenaline rush. That's what it's about. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That's it, baby. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
All right, guys, wrap it up another uh, episode of Blackstone Labs, guys, Sister Nino. Uh, we just smashed the legs here in Petty Goals of Bridgewater, New Jersey. As you can tell, I'm a uh, soaking wet mess. Um, been absolutely back on the grind uh, since I've been back in the gym, you know. Uh, a lot of crazy hiccups along the way during this coronavirus pandemic shit. You know, if it wasn't injury or me having COVID and then losing power and we, we got hit with a storm, it's just been one thing after another. So I'm hoping that uh, weather's starting to taper down, COVID's starting to taper down, life's starting to get back to normal little by little. So um, I'm feeling good. Uh, back's feeling a lot better. Finally got uh, up, able to squat 315, slow reps today. Feeling good. So every week I'm going to progress up and up until I'm back, you know, four or five plates next couple weeks. But, um, you know, so far we're just uh, cruising along day by day, growing into the Olympia. And then uh, we'll start cutting it down in about another six weeks time. We'll start getting ready for the uh, 212 showdown. So keep an eye out, Blackstone Labs TV. We out. Peace.